Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be creating the weapon switching system. It might sound a bit complicated but it's actually very simple. You can go check out Bracky's video on this, he has also a very good video. We use a bit, bit of a different approach but it's still it's a great it's a great video. One more thing before we get started, the, some people said in the last episode that the bright or the brightness of the level is a bit too, it's a bit too dark. So you can go and change the intensity of the directional light to something around 3 and it should make it a lot brighter. Uh, except the shadows which need to be dark since well they're shadows. And you can also change the color to something a bit um, brighter. And let me explain you how we're gonna do this. So in our player we made our weapon holder on our right arm when we were making our knife. So just go to your right hand bone, right click and create an empty object and then just rename it to weapon holder. Now in here we'll need a few more empty game objects. Three more actually because we want to have a primary weapon, we want to have a secondary weapon and also a melee weapon. So let's do that. Create a new em empty game object under this one and call it primary. Duplicate it with control D, F2 to rename, rename it to secondary. And do the same thing. And call this one melee. Just so we make this a bit easier I will parent the knife to the melee one. We also need one for the primary so I'll go to prefabs and the weapons that we created the last time we'll need to use those. For the primary we'll use the M4. By the way there's links to, for this in the description for the weapons and the link to the previous episode that we made these. You can see that the M4 is all the way up here so we just need to reset the position to 0, 0 and 0. And if we look at it now, you can see that it's way too big. What we can do is go to the primary game object and change the scale to 0 0.01. And then change the rotation of the primary object, not of the M4, of the primary object. On the Y axis to 90 and the, on the Z axis to 90 also. And then just move the M4 a bit. So it's kind of like this. Also we need the one for the secondary so just attach the M9. Change the position to 0, 0, 0 again. So we go to the secondary and change the scale of the secondary to 0 0.01. Not of the M9. And then the rotation of course 90, 90. And then just change the position of the M9 to something you want. Also we have to do the same thing for the melee thing. So I'll just change the rotation at least to 90 and 90 and then uh, the knife rotation I'll set all to 0, 0, 0. Now what we can do in our script is just disable these objects accordingly. Once we have this set up we should be good to go. So we'll go to our scripts folder and create a new script. Call it weapon switch and then attach it to our weapon holder. First in this script we want to have a few variables. We're going to have obviously the game objects that we just created so just create a public game object. And then you can create all three of them in one line going like this primary, secondary and melee. Actually instead of making them public since we don't need any other script to use them we'll just go and type serialize field actually. Serialize field like this. Above it that will show it up in the inspector but it's still private. You can type these brackets with alt and uh, f and g. We will also need a new integer that we're going to call weapon selected. Now this is a cool way to represent this. So basically this integer is going to represent the weapon that we have equipped. Number one is going to be the primary weapon, number two is going to be the secondary weapon and then number three is going to be melee. By default we want to set this to one, so the primary weapon. In void update we're going to create a if statement that's going to say input dot get key down. So when we press a key down key code the alpha one 
Alpha 1 is the number 1 key on your keyboard, obviously. Then in here, whenever we press the 1 key, we want to check if we already have the primary weapon selected. We can do that by going if weapon selected. We're going to check if weapon that we are that we have selected is not primary. If it's not primary, then we're going to swap weapon. We can duplicate this now two times. And here we'll check if we if we get the number 2 key and if the weapon that selected is not secondary, then we're going to swap. And here we're just going to check if we get the number three key and if the weapon that we now have selected is um, the melee key or the melee weapon. So let me just explain this once more. We check if we get the number key, number one key. If we do, then we have to check if we already have the primary weapon selected. If we don't, then we just run the code or change the weapon. We'll also need a new function down here that will be called void swap weapon and in here we'll need actually a variable in here that will be called integer it will be an integer it will be weapon type and then we'll need another three if statements down here so if weapon type is equal to one so if we want to equip primary weapon We'll go primary game object those are the ones that we created uh, at the start of the video dot set active true so we're going to enable that one and then we'll go secondary dot set active false and then melee set active false so we're going to enable only the primary weapon very simple we can duplicate this two times if weapon type is 2 so if we want the secondary weapon we're going to disable the primary enable the secondary and disable the melee if the if weapon type that we want is melee we're going to disable the primary disable the secondary and enable the melee now we just need to run this in here so if we press number 1 key and we do not already have the primary weapon equipped we want to call the swap weapon and in here we need to give it a number that we want to swap to so we want to swap to the primary so that's one because one enables primary same thing with these so just duplicate here we want to swap to the secondary and here for the melee Hopefully this all makes sense. Let's see how this will work. If we go to the weapon holder, we have a few variables that we need to assign the primary, the secondary, and the melee. By default, every one of them will stay, right? If we press one, nothing happens. Two, all right, two it happens. Three, it happens. All right, so we have a small bug it won't change to number one or the primary so the problem is kinda obvious we switched the weapon but we never actually changed the weapon selected right here or the integer weapon selected so whenever we switch to primary weapon we also want to ch uh, switch the weapon selected integer to one whenever we switch to the secondary we want to change it to two and then we also want to change the 3 whenever we switch to our melee weapon. It's actually very simple and I don't know how I forgot that. Very, It's very quick, there's no animations for swapping it, but this is just the beginning and in the next episode we, sh we should be adding the rest of these. And also adding the animations, since now every weapon uses the same animation. Right, there's just one more problem that we have to fix. You can see that every time we open the game, we have all the weapons selected. We can fix this very easily by going to the start function and then just starting with some weapon. You can see that we set the weapon selected to 1. We can go in here if 
or actually we can just call the swap weapon function change to primary since the weapon selected is already one so it's primary and here we'll swap to primary I found a better idea to run some code so you can see whenever we set the weapon selected to one we actually don't have to do it in here we can do that inside the swap weapon function and it will work much better hopefully that makes sense I'm just replacing it so it's a bit it's a bit cleaner so instead of running it in the if statement right here, I'm just going to run it in the in the swap weapon function. Now if we play the game, by default we have the primary selected and then we can change. That's it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, tell all your friends. Maybe they need help with this. This is uh, obviously a very basic system. But we're going to work on it and get it much better, much smoother with animations and everything. And go follow me on my social media and my Patreon. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.